Alexandra TV. I am Alexandra Piahuel Abrego and you are watching another episode of ABA Wednesday. To finish up the month of February, which is a month of love, I decided to make a video on how to attract love. How can you attract love in your life? Which is a very popular topic. A lot of people out there are looking at how they can attract love in their lives and most of the time the answers that they're getting are very, very wrong. So in today's video, in today's episode, I'm going to share with you three easy steps that you can start taking right now to attract real love in your life. So let's begin. All right, so step number one is all about the law of attraction. See, if you want to attract love in your life, then you need to use the law of attraction. It really is essential. Without this, you're not going to be able to do it. You're not going to be able to attract love. A lot of people already do this. A lot of people already use the law of attraction to try at least to attract love, but they don't do it properly. They don't do it in the right way. They watch the movie The Secret or they read the book and they think that all they have to do is just sit around and think about who they want and what kind of person they want that that dream a man or woman to be and just hope and wish that this person is going to come in their life. But this is not exactly how it works. And if you do this, it, it's okay. It's good to do that, but it's not enough. You have to understand that when it comes to the law of attraction, it's not what you want that you're going to attract. It's who you are that you're going to attract. So whatever person comes in your life is a reflection of the person that you are. So if you're looking at a person and you are interested in a person in a love partner who let's say is very spiritual, but you are not spiritual and you let's say don't go to church or don't pray or don't meditate or don't spend time in nature, but you want this person to be like this, then the chances of that person being that way that you're going to attract in your life are very small. Now, this is just one example, but it works in all other forms, really. Whoever you're going to attract in your life is who you already are. So before you even try and think about wanting to attract love in your life, make sure that you are, you as a person, you are who you would like to attract. Make sure that you can look at yourself and say, you know what, I would love to be in a relationship with myself. I would love to be, to meet someone just like me. Make sure that you do that. That's really the first step. Remember, you don't attract what you want, you attract who you are. Step number two, and step number two really goes against what dating coaches are telling you, what websites, dating websites are telling you, what probably people around you are telling you, but step number two is don't look. If you're out there looking for love, stop it. Stop looking for love. I know, I know, probably a lot of people are telling you, like I said, to, oh, you should, you know, go out and try to find love and all of that. Stop it. Stop all of that. Don't look for love. Not looking for love doesn't mean that you shouldn't be open to love. Absolutely not. You should always be open to receiving love, but you shouldn't be out there looking for love. I'm pretty sure you've already heard people say, oh, you know, love walked into my life when I least expected it. You know, I wasn't even looking and, you know, I found someone. Well, that's not a coincidence that most people out there, when they're not looking for love, all of a sudden love just so happens in their lives. It's not a coincidence because what happens is that when you're out there looking for love, you're not focusing on yourself. So if you're looking outside of yourself for love, you're not focusing on what's going on inside. You need to understand that the world as you see it right now is a reflection of your internal condition. So if right now in your life there is no love, then it's probably because there is not enough self-love inside of you. What happens is that when you spend time focusing on what's going on inside of you, on yourself, on loving yourself, on caring for yourself, all of a sudden love shows up because all of a sudden what you were doing without even knowing it is you were loving yourself. So you were creating a lot of love inside of you, which manifested outside of you. Understand this, look around you. Everything that is going on in your life right now that you have in your life right now is a reflection of what is inside. So if right now, like I said, there is no love outside of you, it's because there's no love inside of you. So stop looking for love and instead look for love inside of you instead of looking outside of you. And finally, step number three. And step number three is a little bit like step number one and two at the same time. Step number three is just be love. Just live a life full of love. See, like I said in many other videos, love is energy. So if 
the energy of love, which is something that you can create in your life, is already in your life, that automatically you're gonna attract love. You know, there's, there's no other way to it. That's how the universe works. That's just how it is. If you experience a lot of love in your life, if you live in love, if you're constantly feeling the energy of love inside of you, then love is gonna show up. That's just the way it is. You can't even escape it really. That's how it's gonna go. So in order to experience love and to feel love, even if you have no partner or romantic relationship, there's a lot of things that you can do. You can spend time with people that you love, especially with, I think for me, usually what works when I want to feel a lot of love, it's with animals. I think that they're unconditional sources of love and with kids and babies. Once again, they're unconditional sources of love. You look at them and you just feel love. You can also uh, do what you like to do. The art that you like to do, the kind of art that you like to do, maybe dancing, singing, uh, painting, whatever it is that makes you feel joy and happiness inside of you. You can listen to love songs. That's something that I've used in the past a lot in order to attract love in my life. Just constantly listening to beautiful love songs that make you feel like you are so in love and that you found the most amazing person on earth. And believe me, it works automatically. You're going to attract love in your life. Now, to attract love in your life, a lot of people are kind of in a hurry. Once again, they're doing the mistake of looking outside of themselves for love. But a lot of people are like, okay, so, you know, after watching this video, maybe you're going to start to try to use all the steps and use all the tricks and you're going to be like, okay, so love is not showing up. But you have to understand that love has no time. You see, first of all, time is really an illusion, but you have to understand that love is going to show up in your life when you are ready. So once again, it goes back to step number two and step number one, look inside of yourself, work on yourself and make sure that you love yourself unconditionally. And that's really when love is going to show up in your life. That's just how it is. If love is not there in your life yet, it's because you need to do some self work and you need to work on yourself, on growing, on loving yourself and on being your best self, the best version of yourself. So that is it for today. I really hope that this video helped you and that you have a better idea on how to attract love in your life. All of this really works. I know it from experience and I know that it's gonna work for you. So um, that is it for today. Once again, my name is Alexandra Villaguela Arago. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every single Wednesday in English and also go on my website, Alexandra Villaguela Arago, and subscribe to my email list. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, as I said. I will see you in exactly one week. Bye-bye.